so we are given a positively charged ring of charge q and we have a semi infinite wire which has a linear charge density lambda coulomb per meter we need to find the force between the ring and the thread so let's do by standard method first we'll take a small element dx at a distance x and find the force on this element so we need two things here charge dq on this element and electric field due to the ring so electric field due to the ring we know is kqx by x square plus r square power 3 by 2 and charge on the element should be lambda dx so now we can find the small force dq into e dq is lambda dx and e is this then we find the force by integrating this quantity and x will vary from 0 to infinity so i'm not doing the integration here you can just substitute x as r tan theta and you will get your answer f is equal to kq lambda by r now we can do it by another method that is if we know that electric field due to, due to a semi infinite wire in these two directions is k lambda by r so again if you have a semi infinite wire of charge density of linear charge density lambda then at a, any point on the edge of the wire at a distance r the electric fields are same in x and y direction and their values are k lambda by r so if you know this result then we can find the force on the ring see here we found the force on the wire and we have to do the integration but here if we know the field due to the wire we can find the force on the field and that should be q times ex because com the ey component the force due to the ey component will cancel out because of symmetry bottom part the force will cancel out the force on the top part but in x direction the ring is pushed by at every point towards x direction so that force will be q of ring times ex and ex is k lambda by r so from here also we get the same answer